guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be looking at the new set for Common Charity, Dunes Out, and we're looking at a pretty impactful set. Decks like, um, of course, Unchained are being buffed, decks like Infernoble, just got Charles. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a quick little, little sneak peek of maybe something that's coming later. Um, let's see, let's see, where, where did I put this? Is it, is it this? No. That's dust on. I can't believe did I really make dust on? Hold up. <laughs> it's uh look at this. We got we got Emperor we got Knight Emperor Charles. We got the new card. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice, but it might get new support in the Portuguese uh o OTS, so we can't do a video yet. But we're going to be starting this is a different deck. How did how did this happen? Hold up. What the... Uh, huh? Okay, I found it. I marked it as Metal Foe and not Unchained. But this deck is crazy. Um, the only thing I can really say about it is, like, this deck is, like, the Nemorelia list I posted, it's like that, but it's better, because instead of Nemorelia, we're actually playing good cards, like the new Unchained Souls. So, I mean, hey, let's just get into it. Double Silver, or Triple Silver, Triple Steel in, triple, Double Vanisher, uh, Triple Melcaster, and Triple Bismagear is what we're playing for the um, Metal Foe Monsters. I already went over these guys in my last video about, like, Nemorelia Foe Unchained. But I think that overall, it's just kind of the same thing. The only difference with the engine is that we are still playing the fusion, but we're only on two counter instead of three. Literally every, it just, every single card in this deck searches counter, so there's no reason to be playing, le like, a bunch of it. Uh, additionally, I think the Banish off Vanisher is still incredibly strong. I think that it can be just targeted, chained off anything, because you can just get counter for free. And popping my own cards is good for the engine anyways, so might as well. Um, all these cards do the same thing, except, like, Bismagear has a different effect when it gets popped. Uh, you can search a Metal Foe from deck to hand, I believe. Anyways, during the end phase, I mean. Uh, going back onto the Unchained stuff, this is where we get new cards. We have three Shivara, once uh, Savannah, and three of each Unchained name. Uh, you do need three of each name, just so you can guarantee you open a Unchained and a Foe, which is the combo. Uh, this Shivara, essentially, when it leaves the field, you can gra you can set an Unchained Spell Trap from deck, so either an Escape or a uh, Chamber. Uh, this just gives the deck Disruption, which is, uh, essentially, it just gives the Unchained portion of the deck Disruption. That makes it so that it we can, like, this actually, like, the Unchained portion of this deck puts up pressure, and it's not just, like, a bunch of recruiters, and we can actually, like, do stuff with it, right? It means that, like, we can go, like, Sithon, you can go, like, if you open, like, uh, Steelin plus a Foe, you can go Steelin, pop the, un you can go, or, like, a Foe plus a Unchained, you can go Foe, pop the Unchained, grab uh, grab Counter, the uh, Unchained guy will grab uh, Shivana, and then we can go, like, any, like, monster, like, a no any normal summon can, like, link off for so a Virus Swordsman, and then grab either um, Chamber or, um, or Escape. Uh, if you or have a way to pop it, like with another metal foe's name, you can uh, you can get the spell trap uh, with and still have room to, for a normal summon to have like a unchained monster plus escape, which is disruption, uh, and then it also like goes into other things. You can get into Shayama, which can like pop stuff, can pop stuff, and then bring itself back every turn. So you have a body consistently, super strong. Um, and then. For the spell traps, we are still playing a Metal Foes fusion. Uh, the only monster we're ever making is Orichalc. Uh, just so occasionally it's good to make lethal because you can hit for like 52 over a, um, a defense position monster. Occasionally, it's, ju it's just good for making le lethal faster. Already explained the escape. Uh, it's disruption and you can search it off of Shivara. And the uh, chamber is the same. Uh, it's not disruption necessarily, but you can just grab any unchained monster from your deck. So, or you can special summon a monster from hand or grave, and then you can summon or you can summon one from deck if it gets popped. So you can pop it with the Shayama, 
just to summon it back and then grab like uh like Sarama from deck. Super strong. And then for staples, we're just on double torrential, three trap trick. Trap trick's good for grabbing torrential, but it's also good for grabbing escape sometimes, good for grabbing on a uh, good for grabbing chamber good for grabbing counter occasionally it just gets uh too much stuff in the deck and then torrential is good because it lets you pop your own stuff already talked about the ori calc uh we're on a uh, starving denim if you were playing a side deck you would have super poly in it so that's why we're playing uh vortex dragon for uh, absolute when we make it uh off we can make absolute off melcaster so it's good to have just like a you know if you have the way to make a rank seven it's an omni negate which is nice uh, and then Azortless is occasionally a pop. It's, you know, it's fine. It's not, like, you're not making it very often, I'll admit that. Uh, what Absolute, again, you make it off Melcaster, and then you link it off to grab the Vortex Dragon. Um, one, um, uh, String Gen. Uh, essentially, this is just, uh, th th it's like, it's almost like Cat Shark and Sprite. You can make this off the Silvers, and then you can use it to boost any of the guys, like to get up to beat over whatever you need to. You can actually you can make it off any of the Twins or uh, Silvers, uh, and then you can boost up anything you want really, and then hit for and then make it easier to hit for lethal. Jaja um, is allow allows you to just like you know it's a rank three you can theoretically end on, but it's better just end on the uh, Unchains unless you're in very specific matchups. One Borlo to make it easier to out certain cards. One Virus Berserker and one Virus Swordsman. Uh, vi you're not summoning anything off the Virus Swordsman because it's never going to be co-linked. But Virus Berserker is still decent uh, just to make off Swordsman and another guy just to blow up three spell traps, basically. Uh, and then, uh, or just actually, it only blows up two spell traps because you go Virus Berserker, Revive Code, uh, the Revive virus swordsman then you blow up two spell traps just decent if you can make a rank three or link three rather um going into you have the hita just you can make it with uh any of the foes and then just steal a fire from grave it's decent um geonator you can occasionally use this to break a board if they're not like playing around it uh, one Gravity Controller, this is for the Absolute Dragon, how you get in the graveyard. And then one Link Spider, uh, just because it's a rank, uh, it's just a Link one that you can make with any either of the normal uh, Metal Foes. I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and if you want to see more content from Dune, uh, request a deck from comments.